Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I want to give you guys an updated tour of my setup. Um, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to do for Halloween and I, I refer to this place as the dungeon so I guess this is a Halloween themed episode but a couple of things have changed since the last time I toured my setup so and also I think there's a lot of people who haven't seen it since I've done it so I figured yeah let's walk through it um as you can see it looks like there's bed sheets everywhere um <laughs> I'll start off by explaining that um the uh, these are diffuser sheets and I found that one behind me one in front of me and actually one on the ceiling does magic for this is where the um the knives are reviewed right here right this is where you normally see my thing so um when a knife is um you know laying out right here and it's reflecting if there's one on the ceiling it actually reflects steel color instead of the you know what's actually behind it which is what this is an unfinished part of my basement right so that's the reason for that. And then there's actually two LED, I don't know if you guys can see them. There's an LED panel here and there's an LED panel here. And then behind this sheet, there's actually a couple, I'll just scoot back here so you guys can see it. Um, but there's actually a couple of lights, three of them. So the idea is, is we have light coming from here, 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 and here, which eliminates a lot of the shadows. Anyways, <laughs> it works, it just doesn't look that pretty, right? So that's, uh, that's my lighting over here. If you've ever wondered what does he do you know, with knives that are sent to him, how does he keep my precious babies, right? Actually, if you send me a knife and it comes in a shipping box or a box of some sort, it stays in the box, sorted, right? Neatly sorted, very safe. And then usually inside the box, it's in a pouch or something like that. Um, this is everything that is going to be reviewed. Down there is actually stuff that is going to go out, eventually going to ship out to people. Uh, this is, the TV gets turned on if I'm down here doing, you know, I don't know, if like if I'm packing stuff up or doing something continuous, like not filming, I'll put something on the TV. I've got Roku down here, so there's, you know, it's an old TV that's got YouTube, basically. That's <laughs> about it. I got some of Frankie and Bird's cards they've sent me up here. Um, this is the uh, Mattia Barani. Uh, uh, it's actually a Damacor kitchen knife that I have not reviewed yet. Some stickers, I'm not really sure what those are doing. Like I said, stuff that's shipping out. Last shelf just has random, I don't think there's anything important down there. That old wizard crystal dagger, right? Uh, this table usually always has an energy drink and my car keys on it. And then I have the, the iPad and my little notepad. And then this is actually the binder I keep my laptop in and the schedule for the channel. Uh, that is definitely, everything that is in that <laughs> binder that's the whole channel right there for sure. And then uh, right here, I think somebody asked me last time about this arm. Truthfully, I don't know. This is the camera. This is the thing that holds my camera, right? And you can rotate it. Like you can rotate this part, right? And this thing has the expandable clamp or whatever. I think the arm was 18 bucks on uh, eBay. And it like I, I've got it clamped to the table. And then this piece was like six bucks from Amazon. I got the, actually that was something Nick Shabazz recommended. It's been great. That's what I've been using the whole time, right? Back here, Bluetooth speaker, if I feel like playing music, which I normally don't. Uh, I got everything, you know, this is a very caveman setup. There's nothing professional done here, right? But basically so I can charge the iPad, the computer, uh, my phone, everything all at the same time. This is where the uh, unboxing scalpel sits. And I've also got my coffee mug still in the same place. Couple of different challenge coins. That's the charger for all of my, you know, the batteries for uh, my flashlights. Couple of different batteries here. Underneath that's actually the uh, AR RPM 9 composition, which is incorrect. There's not magnesium in it. But anyways, uh, batteries, uh, magnifying glass. I've got my digital angle square. I keep a bunch of like pens and rubber bands and just assorted stuff in there letters and things shipping receipts and this is every note that everyone has ever sent me yes i keep those this thing is packed full and there are two of them there's another one actually back <laughs> behind there um but uh, yeah i keep all of your guys notes so uh just so you know um 
And then, uh, and these are, no, there's not, I know somebody's gonna joke. These are, um, I think, energy and metabolism. Yeah, they're like thermogenic uh, stuff, which honestly, truthfully, I don't like those. I, I'd rather just drink a monster. Um, but anyways, here, this is normally, this might, so some people might, you might think, wow, what a mess. It was way more messy right before this video, but I cleaned it up. So for every review, I'm reaching over to the left and grabbing like the calipers. This is actually the, I'm wearing my actual wedding ring right now, which if you guys have not seen it, actually my wife got me this, uh, it's Damascus rose gold and zirconium. Um, when we got married, I thought that was pretty cool. But anyways, um, that's the rubber wedding ring I wear while I'm handling other people's expensive knives so I don't scratch it. Uh, tape measure, the Wea bit selector, the stubby driver, there's the Scout titanium driver. The four flashlights I decided to keep, there's two MSR D4V2s, that's a titanium D4V2, D4 that's a short body D4V2. Um, the uh, Lumentop FW3T, and then that's the Noctagon KR4 in titanium. Keep all those right there. Uh, let's see here, some tape, um, EDCI, which everybody should have, and I think they're making more, so if you can't find it, don't worry, it's coming. I also keep some break free, because that does a really good job cleaning gunk off of knives, right? Chapstick, because I am one of those people that has to have chapstick all the time. What did I miss? I feel, oh yeah, the, this is the remote for the lights. I think people have seen this on and off. Right, I've just got it all hooked up to that. Uh, you can set it by time. A couple of times during reviews, the lights shut off and I realized that when I started recording, I, may, I must have only set it for 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, down here we have, um, these are where I keep the size comparison knives, the Rat 2, PM2, Hogue Ritter, Para 3, and the Mini Griptilian so that I can you know reach and just grab them real easily. Uh, the stickers that I show at the beginning of every video to thank patrons, right? Uh, there's the Instagram, little Instagram card. People ask me, why don't you just edit in something in a video that says, here's my Instagram, right? Uh, I found that people don't react to that because we're all so used to seeing it on YouTube videos, right? When a little, little graphic shows up and it's like, please follow me on Instagram. If I wave around a stupid little card, people seem to react to that a little more ironically, just like holding a piece of paper people will actually respond to it so yeah that's why i do that so anyways yeah that's the you know this is this the stuff that's all right around me all the time right uh you know it, it would be nice to have a professional desk but this has worked so well for so long right this isn't new this is how i've been running the channel for the last boy at least the last year and before that it was just a card table right um, over here, I won't do a full collection update, but I, you guys have seen this. This is where I keep my knives. The hinder boxes are up here. Actually, two of the hinders are actually in their boxes. This one's the Dark Horse, and this one is the um, Fullard Spear. The pouch for the Microtech Combat Trudon. We're actually going to turn the exposure up just a little bit for this part. Top shelf is generally... I mean, they're not sorted 100% correct. These are usually the knives that I reach for of... Well, not really. There's a video coming that's going to explain that. But up here we've got the um, Damascus Delica in titanium that my wife got me. We've got the Shaman. We have the um, uh, Brian Ado Evo Typhoon from Riyadh. This is the, the workhorse, the hinder that I actually use. Um, that one's up there. And we've got the Mini Crooked River Custom uh, that was sent by Shaker. Pretty cool. Second drawer has... The Combat Troodon, Troodon, my wife's blur, which has actually been in here since the last time I did the video. Um, we have, the, I'm going to turn this exposure up just a little bit more. Uh, the Protec uh, uh, SNG Auto in titanium. There's the Microtech SOCOM Elite. Zell's Troodon, which I actually need to get back to him. And then we have the Lion Steel TRE in titanium. We'll do a full, I'll do a collection update sometime where I get everything out and show you guys. Not all the knives are in here. Tough Light, there's the new Hinderer Emmet, which I only have one hand, so I'm not going to get that out. I've done an unboxing if you want to see that. Uh, that's the SR1 Light, and this thing, which is always tucked back in there, the Openel number 8. <laughs> this is not organized. It has not been organized, and it probably will never be organized. I know a lot of people who watch are like, oh my god, you should organize that. No, 
uh, it's just gonna things are gonna kind of go in there how they go in there the next drawer is what is back here oh the Seiko instructions for the watch that I got a lot of my extra like hinder scales um, some more important hardware liners things like that these are it look this tape pouch I think has extra parts for the watch there's a couple of uh, uh, stropping pads in here um, and then this is a button for an old geck five or a Ge geck 15 navy knife I don't know why I still have that next drawer has some more tools um, this little pouch right here which actually normally has my this is my very first pocket knife ever uh, that my that's the one that I threw in the refrigerator box when I was like nine and my dad took it away more tools some wet stones. This is the case for an old pen. I don't know where the pen is, honestly. This drawer has lots of hardware. Lots of, I cannot stand not having a screw for something, not having a pocket clip for something. There's so much hardware in here. It is not organized. I have to get everything out every time that I do that. But fortunately, I'm not doing that very often. So it's, it's totally okay that there's just a bunch of, you know, loose pouches and things like that. The final drawer is just random stuff. <laughs> I have, like, the short bodies for different flashlights, various pieces of hardware. This lanyard that, um, this was, I think, Al the Science Pal made this for me. It glows in the dark. Loctite, more rubber rings, right? There's a, one of my other watches in here. There's some stickers and things. More... Uh, bought different tubes for flashlights, right? Um, the little titanium container that used to be on my keychain, pens, just just assorted stuff. Uh, that's just kind of the junk drawer of the table there. So that's that's really what's in there right now. Back here, um, this table is a mess right now because this is going. To, this is the original table. That's actually the original mat that I filmed on, like way, 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 way long time ago, right after. I was uh, reviewing stuff out of like vehicles. I switched to this table, this little tripod, and this little doormat. That's what I was reviewing on. Um, and uh, I keep uh, all the the page. A lot of the Patreon stickers are over here. Some other things that people have sent in. Right, the KMEs over here. Normally it doesn't look like this, but I'm actually getting a new table for right here. Um, and all this stuff is going to be sorted on there. And then the box for the M, it's right here. Underneath here is the box with all the other boxes in it and promo stuff and just stuff that was sent. I think this bag has a bunch of stickers in it. Um, some some stuff that was sent, you know, by retailers and, and knife, you know, just people sending knives. Boxes for things because I keep every box for every knife that I own and every last little teeny tiny thing that comes with it. I just always do. That's what I do. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything. Else. Oh well, the um, you guys. I don't, some of you guys have seen this. I have another storage, a knife storage thing where I keep a few. Uh, the Enox old. That's the old uh, auto from. I just I haven't reviewed that one yet. Uh, the Batarang. Some other cheapies. They're just like really cheap knives that I might use as an example. And it, honestly, it's just nice to have another storage case. Um, but. Uh, it's getting to the point actually where I'm I'm definitely going to need another container um, and a, probably a different storage system. Not necessarily to keep it or just to keep everything spaced out. And I, you know, I might want to have one that's like assorted, like stuff, and one that's just knives. Um, but yeah, uh, that's I think that's I think that's pretty much everything, guys. This is where I sit and where I do my stuff every day and. It's nice and cool down here. Um, very relaxed, right? I mean, I, I don't, I don't need a whole lot. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable. There's no bathroom down here, not in this part of the basement. So I actually have to leave entirely this weird, dark corner of the basement to, to you know, do that. But um, yeah, other than that, though, I mean, I guess first person. Uh, this is uh, this is where I sit every day. Um, and swivel around and do whatever it is that I'm doing. But um, anyways, guys, this was a lot of fun. Um, it's always fun to do these little behind the scenes and, uh, you know, updates for people. I know you guys, you know, some of you guys like to watch this stuff. But anyways, I hope this was enjoyable to you on this uh, this this Halloween 
you're probably watching it in the morning. I don't know. Maybe you're watching in the afternoon. Um, but I hope you all, you know, those of you who are celebrating Halloween, I, go, I hope you guys all have an excellent um, evening, uh, whether you're out, you know, with friends, uh, by yourself, with kids, family, whatever, right? If you enjoyed this video, oh, please follow me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.